गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीवन नमस्कार राम राम सो वी आर डिस्कसिंग आइडेंटिफिकेशन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक आइडेंटिफिकेशन हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई पर्सन now the next important word for identification is we will discuss how to identify race chalo humne kal kya padha tha the last topic kya tha which is the most common variety of fingerprint which is the most common variety of fingerprint anyone yes what is the answer loop variety loop is the most common variety of fingerprint very good most common variety is loop minimum points to be same how many points should be minimum to be same 10 to 12 points 10 to 12 points first fingerprint bureau kolkata kolkata chiloscopy discovered by chiloscopy discovered by suzuki which part of the pellet is used for identification hard pellet or soft pellet hard pellet skull x ray are used in skull x ray are used in which technique skull x ray superimposition technique physical measurement descriptive data and body marks are used in physical measurement descriptive data and body marks are used in anthropometry what is another name of anthropometry anthropometry is also known as batillian system and portrait parle batillian system and portrait parle okay so now we can proceed for the next how to identify race for race identification we use syphilitic index race identification we use syphilitic index how to remember r a c e race c e syphilitic index syphilitic index is a index of skull bone syphilitic index is a index of skull bone what is syphilitic index breadth of skull bone breadth of breadth of skull bone divided by length of skull bone in 200 breadth of skull bone divided by length of skull bone in 200 this is known as syphilitic index breadth of skull bone this one divided by length of skull bone now how to remember syphilitic index a very simple trick dumb d u m b dumb this is a trick what is a trick d for dolico syphilitic d for dolico syphilitic m for mesotic mesotic syphilitic d for brachy syphilitic so if you see the value it is 70 to 75 it is 75 to 80 and it is 80 to 85 this is the trick we can remember dolico syphilitic is present in negro dolico syphilitic is present in negro and pure aryans negro and pure aryans indians are not pure aryans indian is a mixture 
So Indian cephalic index are mesotisephalic. Very important MCQ comes. Indian cephalic index are mesotisephalic. Even Chinese cephalic index are also even Chinese cephalic index are also mesotisephalic. Okay, Mongol. The cephalic index of Mongol is brachycephalic. Cephalic index of Mongol is brachycephalic. So you can get this question very important. Indians are mesotisephalic. Chinese are also mesotic cephalic. Pure Aryans are dolicocephalic. Dolicocephalic. We are discussing how to decide race. We are discussing how to decide race. For race, we use a skull bone index that is cephalic index. That is cephalic index. So you can see this is the first one, dolicocephalic, mesotisephalic, and brachycephalic. What is a trick to remember? Dump. What is a trick to remember? It is D-U-M-B, dump. Dolico. So Indians are mesotisephalic. Indians are mesotisephalic. Now, sir, in Mongol, everything is gold. Face is gold. That is Mongol. Orbits are gold. Face is gold. Orbits are gold. That is Mongol. And palate is parabolic. This is Mongol. Palate is parabolic. Now, sir, if you see Mongol very carefully, please mute your mic. If you see face is gold, orbits are gold. That is Mongol. If you see very carefully, in Mongol, we have Gul tooth. In Mongol, we have bull like tooth as well as shovel shape incisor. As well as shovel shape incisor, bull tooth and shovel shape incisor, as well as enamel pulse. These are three important features of tooth of Mongol, bull tooth, shovel shape incisor and enamel pulse are characteristic feature of Mongol, of Mongol. Now, sir, what about orbit? If orbit is square shape, it is Negro. And if orbit is triangular, it is Caucasians. If orbit is square shape, it is Negro. If orbit is uh, sorry, if orbit is square shape, it is Negro. If orbit is triangular, it is Caucasians. You can get this question. Orbit are square shape, it is Negro. Caucasians. Now, look, sir. C for Caucasians. C for Carbellicusp. C for Caucasian. C for Carbellicusp are present in the teeth. Carbilicus are present in the teeth. So, Dr. Sir, you can get multiple questions regarding the cephalic index. Indians are mesotic. Yes. Negroes are dolicocephalic. Negroes are dolicocephalic. Very good. Mongols are brachycephalic. In Mongols, brachycephaly, coronal suture fusion, coronal suture fuses early. This question also sometimes asked in examination. What is brachycephaly? Coronal suture fuses early. That is brachycephaly. Brachycephaly. This is coronal suture fusion is early. This is brachycephaly. Okay. Now, sir, for race, what are other index used? We can remember by BCCI. These are other index for race. BCCI. The first we discussed cephalic index. B for brachial index, C for cephalic index, already discussed, skull bone, C for crural index, I for intermembranal index. These are the index which are used for race, brachial index, cephalic index. That's very simple trick. BCCI discriminate on the basis of race. BCCI discriminate on the basis of race. That is a very simple trick. 
So sometimes you can get a question, what are the index which are used for race? These are brachial index, syphilic index, crural index, and intermembranal index. Now I'm putting some question, write down. First question, first question, shovel shaped teeth seen in which race? Shovel shaped teeth seen in which race? Shovel shaped teeth seen in which race? Okay, square shape orbit which race? Square shape orbit Negro. Yes, absolutely right. Triangular shape orbit which race? Yes. Caucasians. Very good. It is right. Caucasians. Carbilicus in the teeth are seen in which race? Carbilicus in the teeth are seen in which race? Caucasians. And Dr. Last, you can write down one thing about race. Here are in here. Medulla is non fragmented in Mangul. In here, medulla is non fragmented in Mangul. All other has just medulla fragmented. Medulla fragmented. This is all about race. You can get medulla is non fragmented in Mangul. This is a very important MCQ. Now, sir, what about sex? Sir, for sex, we have some body. One is bar body. Bar body is present in female. Bar body present in female. Second is Davidson body, which is also present in female in neutrophils. And Oksab, D for Davidson body, D for drumstick appearance. D for Davidson body, D for drumstick appearance. When you see the Davidson body, it is just like a drumstick. You can get a question. Davidson body is just like a drumstick appearance. This is Davidson body. Davidson body is just like a drumstick. This is drumstick appearance. This is also seen in female. So this is the first bar body. This is second Davidson body. Third, for X chromosome, for X chromosome, we use a reaction that is known as Fusion reaction for X chromosome, we use a reaction that is known as fusion reaction. For fusion reaction, we use acriflavin stain. For fusion reaction, we use acriflavin stain. Acriflavin stain number four. For Y chromosome, we use Quinacrine reaction for Y chromosome, we use quinacrine reaction. So you can see bar body is female, Davidson body is female. For X chromosome, we use fusion reaction. And for Y chromosome, we use quinacrine reaction. Even, sir, by bones, we can decide sex. And for this, we have a table. For this, we have a table that is Krogman table. This is a very important MCQ. By bone, we can decide the sex. We have Krogman table. What is Krogman table? What is Krogman table? If you have pelvis bone, you can differentiate sex in 95% cases. If you have skull bone, almost 90% cases. So pelvis is the single best bone, single best bone for sexual differentiation. But if you have complete skeleton, it means if you have complete skeleton, you can differentiate 100% cases. So see option very carefully. If skeleton, is, if skeleton is given in option, you just pick skeleton. 
but if skeleton is not given in option then you can pick pangis so see the option very carefully complete skeleton in 100% cases now how to differentiate sexual bone in male and female how to differentiate bone in male and female this is known as crogman table pelvis is the single best bone and complete skeleton is the best thing to differentiate male and female because by this hello sono a tabrian ke bani chup rave e bare khele choice ghanta khele ha male and female okay now male bones are large and heavy opposite is seen in female small and small and light you can write down opposite here you can write down opposite here in male all bony prominences are in male all bony prominences are more prominent all bony prominences are more prominent okay prominences are more prominent but sir in female we have one bony prominences that is more prominent this is frontal eminence so what is the trick to remember f for female f for frontal eminence f for female f for frontal eminence that is more prominent in female more prominent in female sir sternum length is more in male less in female sternum length sunu main ek cheez bol raha tha sternum length is more in male less in female and doctor this is a very important mcq this is a very important mcq this is known as ashley rule so sometime you can get a question sir ashley rule is related with which bone the answer will be sternum sternum length is more and here sternum length is less sternum length is more and sternum length is less this is the third now if you see the pelvis see the pelvis sir male there is no child in the pelvis so pelvic shape of male is deep funnel shape no child in the pelvis so shape of the pelvis is this deep funnel shape in male it is flat bowl shape in female this flat bowl shape in female but sir what about pelvic inlet what about pelvic inlet sir pelvic inlet in male is heart shape pelvic inlet in male is heart shape in female it is round or oval shape this is pelvic so what are the tricks to remember sir in female frontal eminence is more prominent f f ashley rule is related with sternum bone A sternum length is more male pelvic shape is deep funnel shape in male pelvic inlet is heart shape heart shape pelvic inlet shape is heart shape in male aise bhi yaad kar sakte ho kehte na ki male mein dil nahi hota to dil hoga kahan se dil to male mein niche hota hai dil to male mein niche hota hai यहां होता है ओके मेल आर हार्टलेस बिकॉज नीचे दिल नीचे होता है इस ट्रिक से आप चाहो तो याद कर सकते हैं ओके ये तो मैंने मेल प्रोमिनेंट थिंग बताई नाउ आई विल डिस्कस व्हाट आर द थिंग्स व्हिच आर प्रोमिनेंट इन फीमेल व्हाट आर द थिंग्स व्हिच आर प्रोमिनेंट इन फीमेल नाउ आई विल डिस्कस पेल्विस बोन हैज प्री ओरिकुलर सल्कस present in female absent or very rare in 
male that is prominent in female and of sub pre auricular sulcus is also known as tertiary sexual character pre auricular sulcus is also known as tertiary sexual character so this is the first thing which is prominent in female now in female most of the things are round female ki zyada tar cheeze gol hoti hai orbits are round face is round and most of the foramen are round in male most of the things are square shape but sir there is a exception there is a exception this exception is obturator foramen sir obturator foramen in female is triangular and in male it is round this is only exception this is only exception that is obturator foramen obturator foramen in female is triangular and it is round shape in male okay this table is very important all bony index value is more in female less in male bony index value is more in female less in male now this question comes which is the best bony index this is sciatic notch index which is the best bony index sciatic notch index but sir there is an exception one bony index where value is more in male that is corpo basal index sir corpo basal index is index of sacral bone corpo basal index is a index of sacral bone where value is more in male next chilotic line chilotic line sir so, chilotic line is more prominent in female in pelvis it is less prominent in male in pelvis greater sciatic notch greater sciatic notch is wide and large in female opposite will be in male and sir it is the best parameter it is the best parameter to differentiate male and female and ischial spine ischial spine in female in female ischial tuberosity or ischial spine whatever it is it is everted and it is inverted it is everted and it is inverted in male now i am putting some mcq write down okay first which is the best bone to decide male or female pelvis or complete skeleton first question pelvis or complete skeleton okay what is tertiary sexual character what is tertiary sexual character tertiary sexual character what's the name of tertiary sexual character and present in which bone present in which bone tertiary sexual character pre auricular sulcus present in female pelvis okay which is the best bony index to differentiate male and female best bony index best bony index to differentiate male and female sciatic notch index which is the best bony parameter to differentiate male and female best parameter greater sciatic notch dr saab deep funnel shaped pelvis with heart shaped pelvic inlet is seen in deep funnel shaped pelvic yes it is male heart shaped pelvic inlet chilotic line in pelvic part is more prominent in chilotic line in pelvis part is more prominent in yes it is female yes it is female 
obturator foramen in triangle is triangular in male or female obturator foramen is triangular in male or female what is the answer answer is female very good sir very very good very very good okay so this is how we decide sex now i am coming to how we decide age for age of fetus we use rule of hasse for age of fetus we use rule of hasse dr sir for first 5 month and next 5 month for first 5 month age of fetus in month is equal to age of fetus in month is equal to length in the root centimeter for next 5 month month is equal to length divided by 5 cm just i am doing example if month is 1 cm 1 month if month is 1 length will be 1 cm if month is 2 length will be 4 cm if month is 3 length will be 9 cm if month is 4 length will be 16 cm and if month is 5 length will be 25 cm so whatever is given if length is given you can decide month if month is given you can decide length this is for first 5 month for next 5 month we use this formula this is if month is 6 length will be 30 cm if month is 7 length will be 35 cm if month is 8 length will be 40 cm if month is 9 length will be 45 cm at 10th month almost 50 cm this is for next 5 month sir for next 5 month this rule is also known as morrison rule for next 5 month this rule is also known as morrison rule anyway sir for first 5 month again i am revising my dear friend this is rule of hasse for first 5 month month is equal to this is month month is equal to under root of length centimeter for next 5 month month is equal to length divided by 5 cm this is a very simple formula to decide length and month length and month so sometime length is given you can detect month if month is given you can detect length next 5 month rule is also known as morrison rule next 5 month rule is also known as morrison rule this is very simple now sir for deciding age in adult we also use ossification center we also use ossification center for h for h now sir first we'll see appearance of ossification ossification center then we'll see fusion appearance of the ossification center then we'll see fusion now sir appearance in fetal life appearance in fetal life fetal life this is a very important mc which is first center appears in fetal life this is center of clavicle it appears in 5 to 6 week of fetal life 5 to 6 week of fetal life this is center of clavicle now so if you get a question it is intrauterine life fetal life is intrauterine life 5 to 6 week this center appears at 7 month telus center appears this is a very important mcq at 7 month 7 m is 7 month telus center appears telus center appears at 9 month of age 9 month of age lower end of femur 
लोअर एंड ऑफ फीमर एंड क्यूबॉइड बोन सेंटर अपीयर्स डॉक्टर साहब अगेन आई एम रिवाइजिंग माय डियर फ्रेंड दिस इज आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट अपीयरेंस एट दिस एज दिस सेंटर अपीयर्स नाउ डॉक्टर साहब यू कैन गेट अ क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज द फर्स्ट सेंटर अपीयर सेंटर ऑफ क्लेविकल दीस ऑल आर सेंटर फॉर दीस ऑल आर सेंटर फॉर इंट्रायूट्राइन लाइफ फीटस फीटस लाइफ डॉक्टर साहब मेरे साथ रिवाइज करना ओके फॉर फीटस एज फॉर फीटस एज व्हिच रूल इज यूज्ड रूल ऑफ रूल ऑफ रूल ऑफ हासी नेक्स्ट फाइव मंथ रूल ऑफ फीटस रूल इज नॉन एज रूल ऑफ मॉरिसन मॉरिसन एट्थ मंथ ऑफ एज ऑफ फीटस व्हाट विल बी द लेंथ एट्थ मंथ ऑफ एज ऑफ फीटस व्हाट विल बी द लेंथ एट्थ मंथ फोर्टी सेंटीमीटर फाइव मंथ ऑफ एज व्हाट विल बी द लेंथ ट्वेंटी फाइव फाइव इंटू फाइव बिकॉज it is square then this will be square it's very simple formula which is the first center appears in fetus life center ossification center appears in fetus life clavicle at age of 7 month which center appears age of 7 month which center appears talus cuboid center appears at what age of the fetus life cuboid center okay 9 month So at nine month, this cuboid center and lower end of femur appears. Now, sir, this is age of appearance. Now I am coming to bone fusion after birth. At what age, sir? Patella and gyphoid. Patella and gyphoid. पटेला लड़की को पटाने की उम्र स्टार्ट होती है फोर्टीन ईयर दैट इज पटेला फोर्टीन ईयर फ्यूजन जिफोइड कब क्रॉस हो जाती है एट फोर्टी ईयर फोर्टीन फोर्टी पटेला एट फोर्टीन ईयर लड़की पटेला नहीं पटेला क्रॉस एट फोर्टी ईयर जिफोइड नाउ राइट डाउन आई आई टी आई आई टी इन ईयर स्टार्ट इन ट्वेंटी ईयर 21 year and 22 year how to remember i for iliac crest fusion at 20 year inner end of clavicle 21 year tuberosity that is ischial tuberosity that is ischial tuberosity so it is 20 year 21 year and ischial tuberosity as 22 year 20 21 22 inner and end of clavicle and ischial tuberosity these are the age i i t very simple now in carpal bones carpal bone first carpal bone fuses it is capitate and last carpal bone fuses it is pc form fusion at 12 year first carpal bone fuses it is capitate pc form maximum age of fusion it is 12 year carpal bones are done now what about upper limb and lower limb carpal bone first fusion is capitate what about upper limb and lower limb upper limb you will start with high and lower limb you start with low sir this is upper limb okay this is upper limb this is shoulder this one start with high 18 year 16 year 18 year that is 18 16 18 18 16 18 it means sir upper end of these are humerus we have humerus bone yes then we have two bones yes this is for upper limb 18 16 18
18, 16, 18. So if you get a question, sir, upper end of humerus, upper capitate is not in year. Capitate is at two months of age. When child is two months of age, not in year. Okay, what about lower limb? Lower limb, same thing, but you will start with low. This is lower limb. So we'll start with low. You'll start with 16, 18, and 16. This is you have femur bone, yes. Then you have tibia and fibula. Tibia and fibula. So you can remember. So Dr. what is a trick to remember? A very simple trick to remember is a very what is the fusion of capitate at two months? PC form is 12 years. But I orthopedics in detail in detail. Upper limb. Upper limb start with 18, 16, 18. This is 18. 16, 18, 18, 16, 18, 16, 18, 16. In lower limb, upper end of femur at 16, lower end of femur and upper end of tibia fibula 18, and lower end of tibia fibula. So this is a very simple trick. For upper limb, you'll start with 18, 16, 18. Lower limb will start with 16, 18, 16. This is very simple trick to remember. Now, sir, for skull bone, for skull bone, it's very simple trick. For skull bone, which is the first suture M, last suture is also M, fusion. First suture is M for metopic suture. And last suture is M for mastooccipital suture. Metopic suture fuses at 12 months. Mesto-occipital suture fuses at 80 year. 80 year. So first suture fusion is M and last is also M. Coronal and sagittal suture, both fusion start at 25 year and completes at 40 year. 25 year and 40 year. But sir, this is the best suture. Sagittal suture is the best suture for age estimation. Sagittal suture is the best suture for age estimation. Again, I'm telling you friends, metopic suture is the first suture, M. Last suture is M for mastooccipital suture, 80 year of age. Best suture is sagittal suture. Now, Dr. Saab, which X-ray is taken for skull bone age estimation, lateral skyagram. Which X-ray is taken for skull bone? That is lateral skyagram, head skyagram. Lateral head skyagram. So best suture for age estimation is sagittal suture. Best suture for age estimation is sagittal suture. We take lateral skyagram and First is M for metopic, last is also M for mastooccipital suture. Mastooccipital suture. Now, what about sternum bone? Sir, so sternum has first part manubrium. This is manubrium. Then we have four pieces one, two, three, four. Then we have gyphoid. Sir, gyphoid fuses, I already told you, at 40 year. Gyphoid fuses, I already told you, at 40 year. Manubrium generally fuses at old age. At old age. Now, what about these fusion? These fusion? Yes, this, 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 this. You just start with 15, 20, 25 years. 15, 20, 25. Anyway, sir, if you can remember, this is very important. 
this is sternum. This is sternum. डॉक्टर साहब इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो इन डिटेल फॉर कार्पल बोन्स वैसे आपकी इच्छा होगी सी लुक्स टू प्रीटी ट्राई टू कैच हर सी लुक्स टू प्रीटी ट्राई टू कैच हर दीज आर फाइव एट कार्पल बोन्स वी है इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो इन डिटेल यू कैन रिमेंबर बाई ट्रिक रूल ऑफ ट्वेल्व फाइव फोर थ्री फाइव प्लस फोर प्लस थ्री इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व Okay, these are in ear, ear, and this is also twelve five five one one. It is also twelve, but it is outside. So just leave this. It is five year. It is five year almost. It is one year. It is one year. Hamet in the later part of one year. Capitate as I told you, it is in two month. So both are in first year. One year, one year, but. capitate in two month only okay anyways if, if you want to go in detail at what age other carpal bones fuse you just remember rule of 12 rule of 12 this is rule of 12 anyways i am going for some rapid program see write down write down now ah, in age in female you can write down one more line in female fusion is 1 to 2 year earlier in female fusion is 1 to 2 year earlier 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 look sir between 3 to 5th decade between 3 to 5th decade best bone for Age estimation is pubic symphysis. Best bone for age estimation is pubic symphysis. Between third to fifth decade. Third to fifth decade best bone is pubic symphysis. Between twenty to fifty year. 20 to 25 year sacrum bone become a single bone whole segment of sacrum fuses at the age between 20 to 25 22 to 25 okay anyways sir i am putting some question then you will realize how to question comes in exam c c which is the first suture of the skull bone fused which is the first suture of the skull bone fuses write down metopic which is the last suture of the skull bone fuses which is the last suture of the skull bone fuses masto occipital which is the best suture of the skull bone best suture of the skull bone for age estimation sagittal suture पटेला फ्यूजेस एट व्हाट एज याद करने का तरीका लड़की को पटाने की उम्र कब स्टार्ट होती है 14 ईयर व्हिच इज द लास्ट कार्पल बोन फ्यूजेस कार्पल बोन कार्पल बोन टीसी फॉर्म एट फ्यूजेस एट व्हाट एज 12 ईयर 12 ईयर यस 12 ईयर अपर एंड ऑफ फीमर फ्यूजेस एट व्हाट एज अपर एंड ऑफ फीमर यू कैन सी Rule eighteen, sixteen, eighteen, eighteen, eighteen. For upper limb, we will start with eighteen. Lower limb, we will start with sixteen. Inner end of clavicle fused at what age? Inner end of clavicle. Twenty-one year of age. IIT was the trick. IIT was the trick. Yes. Gifoid fuses sternum of the gifoid stern gifoid of the sternum fuses at what is gifoid X forty year between what age your old sacral segment sacral segment becomes single bone between what age 
your old sacral segment becomes single bone. Yes, that is the answer. Between 20 to 25 years of age. Which is the best bone to decide age between third decade to fourth decade, fifth decade? Pubic symphysis. Pubic symphysis. Very good, sir. Now, sir, in children for age estimation, in children for age estimation, we use dental formula, that is dentition. And of course, sir, wherever I write down teeth, that will be temporary teeth. And wherever I write down P, that will be permanent teeth. Doctor, sir, temporary teeth are 20 in number. 20 in number, temporary teeth. And friends, temporary teeth are 20 in number. Every quadrant has five teeth. Five, 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 five. But what is the formula for these five? 2102. So here, 2102. Two will be in center. 2, 1, 0, 2, 2, 1, 0. 2 will be in center. Okay. 2102, 2102. 2 are incisor. 1 is canine. Premolar 0, molar 2. 2102, 2102. Same will be here. So total number we have 20. 2102, 2102, 2102, 2102. Now what is the sequence of eruption of these 2102? A very simple trick is IMCM. Match Chief Minister. IMCM. First come incisor. At the age of 6 month in child. 6 month in child. We have lower central incisor, then comes molar, then comes canine, then comes second molar, then comes second molar. 2102, 2102, 2102, 2102. Second molar, that is the last tooth, comes at the two and a half year to three years. Sir, from two and a half to three years, you will get all 20 temporary teeth. Professor, if you get a question, sir, all 20 temporary teeth, first come incisor, then also come incisor, then come molar, then come canine, then comes molar. Between two molar, canine comes. So these five teeth comes. A very simple trick is to remember. Very simple trick is to remember IMCM. Now, Professor, this question comes, till what age? Till what age you will get all 20 temporary teeth? The answer will be two and a half to three year. Now these two and a half to three year till six year, you will have all 20 temporary teeth as it is, as it is, as it is. But what will happen my dear friend, when you enter in seven year, when you enter in seven year, six to seven, sir, permanent teeth, Eruption starts. So now what will happen? Permanent will increase in number. Temporary will decrease in number. Total number will be 24. Between 6 to 7 till 11 to 12 years of age. Permanent teeth increase in number. Temporary will decrease in number. Total number will remain 24. So between this year, age, this is known as mixed dentition. Why mixed? Because we have dentition. Why mix? Because we have permanent as well as temporary teeth. Now, sir, permanent teeth formula. Every quadrant has eight permanent teeth. Eight, 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 eight. Now, what will be the formula of permanent teeth? It's very simple. It was 2102 in temporary. It is 2123. 21. 2, 3, 2, 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3. Now, what is this 2, 1, 2, 3? 
टू इनसाइजर वन केनाइन टू प्री मोलर थ्री मोलर इनसाइजर केनाइन टू प्री मोलर वन मोलर थ्री मोलर टू वन टू थ्री इट्स वेरी सिंपल कुछ भी नहीं है बहुत इजी है टू वन जीरो टू टू वन जीरो टू सिक्वेंस इज आई एम सी एम टू वन टू थ्री टू वन टू थ्री वॉट इज द सिक्वेंस ऑफ दिस सिक्वेंस ऑफ परमानेंट टीथ इट्स वेरी सिंपल मम्मी इज इन पेन मम्मी इज इन पेन पापा कैन मैक मेडिसिन मम्मी इज इन पेन पापा कैन मैक मेडिसिन वॉट इज दिस एम आई आई पी 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 सी एम एक्चुअली यू हैव टू पिक फर्स्ट एल्फाबेट नो डॉक्टर साहब डोंट राइट इट डाउन जस्ट राइट टू अंडरस्टैंड घर जाके आराम से पढ़ लेना बहुत ईजी है Don't try to write it down. It's very simple. Mummy is in pain. Papa can make medicine. Look, sir. First tooth erupts. First tooth erupt is molar. Yes, molar. Then incisor. Then incisor. Then premolar. Then premolar. Then canine. Then molar. Then molar. This is the sequence. So that is a trick we can do. Now we'll start with C. Six year to seven year. Just increase the age by one. Seven to eight. Eight to nine. Nine to ten, ten to eleven, eleven to twelve, twelve to thirteen. But last molar comes at eighteen to twenty-five year of age. So this is for one quadrant. M, I, I, P, P, C, M, M. Same M, I, I, P, P, C, M, M. M I I P P C M M M I so it means sir, it's not a single tooth. How many tooth do we have? How many teeth do we have? This is four. 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 So total number of permanent teeth comes thirty-two. At eleven to twelve year of age, at eleven to twelve year of age, you will have all permanent teeth twenty-four. No temporary teeth. No temporary teeth. Eleven to twelve. Yes, you can see this. One. You can see this. One. Yes, eleven to twelve. Now twelve to thirteen, you will get four plus twenty-four plus four. It is twenty-eight plus four. It is thirty. That's very simple. Now, sir, see between this age. Now, I'm I'm putting one question to you. See, I'm putting some question. Don't write down, doc. Sir, don't write down. घर जाके बहुत easy है समझने इसको. Listen. See, if you get a question at eight to nine year of age, at eight to nine year of age, how many permanent and how many temporary teeth do you have? See, eight to nine. Yes, make a cross here. Eight to nine. Done. How many permanent? Four, four, four. How many permanent? Four plus four plus four. That becomes twelve. So total should be twenty-four. If permanent are twelve, temporary are twelve, then it becomes twenty-four. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good, Damodar. Now tell me, anyone? At eleven and at ten to eleven year of age, this age. At ten to eleven year of age, anyone? How many permanent and how many temporary teeth do we have at this age? See the permanent, anyone? See the permanent. How many permanent, anyone? Anyone? How many permanent? Yes, Damodar. It's very simple. Twenty permanent. Twenty will be permanent. Temporary will be four. That's very simple. Chalo. At eleven to twelve, how many permanent? Eleven to twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six into four. This twenty-four permanent automatically it is zero temporary. It means, sir, when you enter in, yes, when you enter in, when you enter in, the eleven to twelve year there is no temporary teeth. After that only you have permanent teeth. Four permanent added twenty-eight. That is thirty. This is the sequence of permanent teeth. This is the. It is very simple. 
What is the sequence? Mummy is in pain, Papa can make medicine. What is the sequence of temporary? I am C. I am C. I am C. That's very simple. Okay, this is the simplest trick we have. Now, sir, I have a question. I will check your general knowledge. See, first question. At four years of age, how many teeth do we have? At four years of age, how many teeth do we have? Four years of age. Four years of age, how many teeth do we have? Four years of age, how many teeth do we have? Twenty. Yes, twenty. 20. All are all are temporary or permanent. All are temporary or permanent. Temporary. Mixed dentition is seen between what age? Mixed dentition is seen between what age? Six to seven to six to seven to. Huh? Yeah, six to eighteen. Six to seven to eleven to twelve. Uh, 10 to 11 man, yeah, 11 to 12 man, it's okay it, you can say till 12 till till 11 will be the best answer till 11 will be the best because 11 to 12 you only have permanent teeth. this is not a mixed day. very good very good at uh, 9 to 10 year of age how many temporary and how many permanent teeth do you have 9 to 10 how many permanent 9 to 10 let me see your answer 9 to 10. How many permanent? 16 permanent and 8 temporary. Very good. 16 permanent and 8, eight temporary. Very good. And also, if at any age, if at any age you want to decide that how many permanent teeth do we have, so there is a formula also. Number of permanent teeth is equal to age minus 5 into 4. This is the formula by which you can remember. Age minus 5. Age in year minus 5. See, if you get a question at 9 year of age, 9, 9 minus 5 into 4. That will be 16. 10 year of age, 10 minus 5 into 4. Almost 20. 11 year of age, 11 minus, it means generally at 11 or of year of age, you get all 20 permanent teeth. This is a very simple trick. If you want to go by formula, if you get, so here you will have eight temporary teeth. Here you will have four temporary teeth. Here you will have zero temporary teeth. If you want to go by formula. Okay, very good. Now, sir, as I told you, how many temporary teeth do you have? Two, one, zero, two. In one quadrant, two and zero. Two are incisor. One is canine. Zero premolar, two molar. In one quadrant. In place of these temporary teeth, what do we get? Permanent teeth. Permanent teeth in one quadrant are two, one, two. Now, sir, sir, if you see this quadrant, in place of these five teeth, in place of these five teeth, these five teeth come. In place of these five teeth, these are incisor, canine, premolar, molar. In the place of these five teeth, these five teeth comes. These are known as successional teeth. In place of these five teeth, these five teeth come, these are known as successional teeth. First, but sir, for these three teeth, for these three teeth, extra space is created. These are known as supra added teeth. These are known as supra added teeth. So, temporary ke first five teeth ke jage. For these five teeth, these are five, two plus one plus zero plus two, these are five. These five teeth come in these places. These are successional teeth. But for these three extra teeth, extra space is created. These are 
supra adduct teeth so supra adduct teeth are i am asking you a question supra adduct teeth are incisor canine molar or premolar anyone supra adduct teeth are incisor canine molar or premolar supra adduct teeth are molar so how many supra adduct teeth do you have in your mouth how many supra adduct teeth do you have in your mouth anyone yes damodaran 12 3 3 3 3 How many supra adduct teeth do you have? Twelve. अरे जानू समझ में आ रहा नहीं आ रहा है? जानू निकलो. अरे समझ में आ रहा नहीं आ रहा जानू. Hello. समझ में आ रहा नहीं आ रहा है? बोल ही नहीं रहे हो. Okay, very good. आ रहा है. बहुत simple है. बहुत अच्छी तरीके से आपको प्यार से पढ़ा रहा हूँ. okay okay this is teeth now sir what how do we write write down dental formula first method to write down dental formula is palmer notation what is palmer notation c palmer notation c four quadrant we divide 1 to 8 One to eight, one to eight, and one to eight. This method is known as Palmer notation. This method, this one, two, three. If we write down present, absent, present, this is known as Palmer notation. This is Palmer notation. Okay, simple. Along with upper teeth, if we write down plus. along with upper teeth if we write down plus plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 along with lower teeth we write down minus this method where we write down plus for upper teeth minus for lower teeth this is known as hederup formula this is known as hederup formula palmer notation is 1 to 8 1 to 8 1 to 8 1 to 8 hederup formula now third is universal formula in universal formula we are not dividing in four quadrant hedruff formula we also divide in four quadrant okay so along with upper teeth if we write down plus and along with lower teeth if we write down minus that is a hedruff formula and four quadrant four quadrant is palmer notation four quadrant is a palmer notation okay simple universal formula we are not dividing in four quadrant 1 to 16 and 17 to 32 if we write down in this manner this is a universal formula this is a universal formula universal formula are karam jalo prabhakaran this formula This formula, yeah, Prabhakaran, such me too, pagal hai. This formula is used only for the age between seven to eleven or six to seven to eleven. This is only used for mixed dentition formula. Kya pagal hai? Jaisi baatein karta Prabhakaran, tu yaar, baawda ho gaya. This formula is only used for mixed dentition. what i should revise again sir four quadrant 1 2 3 4 if we write down it is a palmer notation if along with upper teeth plus is written along with lower teeth minus is written it is a hedruff hedruff formula if we are not dividing in four quadrant we are writing 1 2 3 4 5 6 19 20 this is universal formula this is universal formula 1 to 16 yes 17 to 32 kya revise kya karna mere ko samajh mein nahi aaya bahut easy hai ye to yaar pura conceptual hai number 4 fdi formula sir what we do in fdi formula see 
this is four quadrant okay. same this is quadrant number 1 this is quadrant number 2 this is quadrant number 1 this is quadrant number 2 this is quadrant number 2 see this is four quadrant here now sir here also you write down eight okay but first digit will be quadrant number 2 1 2 2 2 3 2 4 2 5 1 1 1 1 okay then 1 2 then 1 3 then 4 1 4 2 4 3 4 4 3 1 3 2 3 3 3 4 actually sir first digit should be number of quadrant then same it is palmer notation first digit should be number of quadrant first digit should be number of quadrant 2 1 this is this is number of quadrant then it is number of teeth they cause are simple simple if we are writing down 1 to 8, 1 to 8, 1 to 8, 1 to 8, this is Palmer notation. 1 to 16, 17 to 32, if we write down in this way, it is universal formula. Along with upper teeth plus, along with lower teeth minus, it is Hedrup formula. This is first, second, third, fourth, four quadrant. We write down the first digit as the number of quadrant. This is two quadrant, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 3 1, 3 2, 3 3, 3 4, 4 1, 4 2, 4 3, 4 4, 1 1, 1 2, 1 3, 1 4. Are yes or no goal gapon? Are yes or no goal gapon? Mahol bange sir. Banana mahol? Bange sir, bange. Bhot easily samjaya. Ye prabakaran to baula ho gaya chal. Prabhakaran ne wo mixed mixed dentition ke liye wo age use karni hai. Okay? Are yes or no? Now sir. Okay, Prabhakaran ko yaad aagya. Chalo dosto. Ab dok sab, by teeth x-ray we can decide age. And sir, for this we use a method Gustafson method. By teeth x-ray, we decide the age. This is known as Gustafson method. Gustafson method is used for adult about 25 year of age. And there are six criteria. In six criteria, the best criteria is translucency of tooth. The best criteria of Gustafson method is translucency of tooth. By teeth x-ray, we decide the age. This is known as Gustafson method. We are using six criteria. Translucency of tooth is the best criteria. This method is known as Gustafson method. This is first method. Step method. Doxar's step method, we decide the age of infant by using teeth. And Doxar, what we measure? Teeth, weight, and height. Teeth, weight, and height are measured. This is stack method. This is stack method. Boide method, same. Boide method. It is also used for infant age by incremental line. By incremental line. This is known as Boide method. Boide method. And fourth, Lemendine method. Lemendine method, we use gum regression. We use gum regression that is Lemendine. 
again i am revising my dear friend by teeth weight and height we examine the age this is tack method by incremental line of infant we decide the age that is a boyd method by gum regression we decide the age this is lemondin method lemondin method lemondin method so doctor sahab thoda sa rapid revision kar lete hain taki aapko thoda acha lage mahol bana rahe how many supra added teeth we have how many supra added teeth we have 12 sir 12 12 total to 12 hoga na 3 mat likho total total likho okay incremental line we estimate the age what is the name of my method boy method right likho 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 boy method which is the best criteria for gustafson method for age estimation best criteria for gustafson method for age estimation translucency translucency of tooth very good very good gum regression is used in which method gum regression is used in which method yes lemondin method lemondin method translucency of tooth gum regression lemondin method sir four quadrant having 1 to 8 1 to 8 what is the name of method of dental formula palmer notation upper teeth plus lower teeth minus if written what is the name of formula hedrup hedrup only two part 1 to 16 and 17 to 32 teeth are given what is the formula what is the formula universal which is the first temporary tooth erupts which is the first temporary tooth erupts i incisor i m c m i for incisor i m c m i m c m yes sir first temporary tooth is i m c m okay sir by next topic by mummy is in pain papa can make medicine that is for permanent tooth m uh, mummy is m i i okay just a minute by bone length we can decide stature we can decide stature sir see you can remember fitur fi tur f for femur t for tibia and fibula both has h for humerus u for ulna r for radius now sir what is a multiplication factor just remember 3.7 just add 0.8 fitur 3.7 plus 0.8 4.5 4.5 plus 0.8 5.3 5.3 plus 0.8 6.1 but in last you add 0.4 6.5 okay now sir what is this sir you found a bone femur somewhere you found a bone femur somewhere length of femur bone that femur bone is 30 cm so what you need to do 30 cm has to be multiplied by 3.7 then you will get stature then you will get stature that is 30 into 3.7 yes it is 111 cm it means sir these are multiplication factor these are multiplication factor these are multiplication factor and these were given by carl and pearson these are multiplication factor carl and pearson first carl and pearson
Carl and Pearson, and Trotter and Glaser. Look, sir. Sometimes a question comes. Carl and Pearson formula are used for stature. Now I am asking one question. Write down one numerical. Write down. If you found a humerus bone, length thirty centimeter, what is the stature of a person? Humerus bone length thirty centimeter three zero. Humerus thirty centimeter. What is the stature of a person? Anyone? Stature of a person? Anyone? Thirteen to five point three crore, na? Yes, Bhagwan, absolutely right. It is one fifty nine centimeter. Yes, Bhagwan, absolutely right. This is one fifty nine centimeter. तो सर आपको याद क्या करना है फितुर भी थू थू रे 3.7 प्लस 0.8 4.5 प्लस 0.8 5.3 प्लस 0.8 6.1 प्लस 0.4 लास्ट इस दैट इस 6.1 दिस वर गिवन बाय कार्ल एंड पीयरसन एंड ट्रोटर एंड ब्लेसर डॉक्टर साहब आई विल शो यू सम पिक्चर आई विल शो यू सम पिक्चर यस ओके सर दिस इज हैबन ऑस्टियोमेट्रिक बोर्ड This is Hebben osteometric board. I don't know, Prabhakar. Why do you have a twenty-eight teeth? There, there may be some teeth which are not erupted, okay, and having some problem of calcium also. There are some third, three molar, molar, three molar generally comes very late. Third molar, third molar, which is a wisdom tooth. So, doctor, by by this we can decide. Length of bone that is a hebben osteometric bone. This is hebben osteometric bone. Hebben osteometric bone. We can decide the length of bone. So this suture in front part is a metopic suture. All other suture we know. And I told you metopic suture fuses at twelve month. You can get this question also. Metopic suture. We have discussed all these important parts. Sir, screen thora zada zoom ho gaya. ज़्यादा ज़ूम हो गया, हाँ? हाँ सर, सब क्या हो गया क्या ज़्यादा ज़ूम? या सिर्फ तेरे ही हुआ? ना सर, मेरे ना हुआ, हम्म, तेरे ही हुआ सर। This is Davidson body. This is Davidson body. As I told you, it's a drumstick body. it is present in female neutrophils i told you this is present in female neutrophils this is davidson body so anyways ye kuch images hain jo hame exam mein aani chahiye aur hame malum hona chahiye we know all these images yes anyone upper teeth plus lower teeth minus what is the name of formula what is the name of formula what is the name of formula hadrup formula hadrup formula very good so these are some very important images you should know about your exam yes 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 yes, yes. okay anyway sir this is all about identification now sir for multi multiplication factor were given by chalo ek aur do teen char kuch question aur puch lete hain multiplication factor were given by number 1 which one kaun se aadmi ne diye multiplication factor number 1 carl and carl and Pearson, second Trotter and Trotter and Glasser, Carl Pearson, Trotter Glasser, Carl Pearson, Trotter Glasser. You know the multiplication factor. What is a multiplication factor for femur? What is a multiplication factor for femur? Anyone? Three point seven. Very good. What is a multiplication factor of uh, humerus? Humerus. Five point three. At the age of ten, how many permanent and how many temporary teeth do you have? At the age of ten, how many permanent and how many temporary teeth do you have? Age of ten. Yes. 
Yes, 20 permanent, 4 temporary. Very good. 20 permanent, 4 temporary. Very good. Achha, samaj mein aagaya tumhe iska matlab. Very good. Now, sir, I am coming to a very important topic, my dear friend. Medical jurisprudence. Medical jurisprudence. What is medical jurisprudence? It is applicable. It's opposite to the forensic medicine. It is application of. It is application of law during medicine practice of medicine. It is application of law during practice of medicine. Means when you are practicing medicine. When you are practicing medicine, you should apply some law in India. It means sir, you should be aware of some law in India. You should be aware of some law in India. This is medical jurisprudence. MCI Act. Sir, MCI Act, Medical Council of India Act passed in 1956. Now MCI has been converted in NMC, NMC, National Medical Commission. MCI Act passed in 1956. Sir, according to MCI Act, there are two schedule. Schedule one, those doctor who have granted their MBBS degree in India are coming under Schedule 1. Those doctors who are foreign medical graduate are coming under Schedule 2. Schedule 2. Sir, but there is one more Schedule, Schedule 3. In Schedule 3, we have first part and second part. First part and second part. But sir, first part are Indian graduate. First part are Indian graduate, which are not coming under schedule one, which are not coming under schedule one. And second part are foreign medical graduate, which are not coming under schedule two. Means some foreign medical graduate, which are not part of to some Indian graduate, which are not part of one, these come under third schedule. Third schedule. Third schedule. Now, sir, we have first body that is MCI and MCI. Second is State Medical Council. Again, I'm telling you, in first schedule, Indian graduate, second schedule, foreign medical graduate, Third schedule has two part, first part and second part. In first part, those Indian graduates which are not coming in first part come under the first part of the schedule three. And those foreign medical graduates which are not the part of second schedule, that comes under second part of third schedule. Okay. SMC is State Medical Council. SMC is State Medical Council. SMC is State Medical Council. Look, sir, both MCI and State Medical Council, you are registered in both places, can be registered here as well as here. But, sir, if doctor is involved in infamous conduct, if doctor is involved in some wrong conduct, that is known as Infamous conduct. What is infamous conduct? What is infamous conduct? Serious professional. Serious. Professional. Misconduct. Serious professional misconduct is known as infamous conduct. It is known as infamous conduct, serious professional misconduct. This is known as infamous conduct. Now, what are the infamous conduct where doctor is involved? You can remember 6A, 
I'll discuss B, C, D, F. What are the six A during practice? A for alcoholism. If during practice doctor is involved in alcoholism, शराब पी रहा है. A for addiction, drug addict है. During practice doctor is involved in alcoholism, addiction, adultery, extramarital affair. abortion criminal abortion criminal abortion abortion a is advertisement wrong advertisement and the last a is association association means giving or taking commission so these all are infamous conduct 6a alcoholism addiction adultery abortion criminal abortion advertisement and association what is association giving or taking commission these are 6a these are 6a infamous conduct b for a bribe if doctor is taking rishwat bribe c for covering what is covering my dear friend covering means doctor is covering non medical doctor is taking help from non medical this is known as covering he is covering non non medical d for dichotomy what is dichotomy fee splitting doctor take commission and split the fee of patient fee splitting of the patient this is also a kind of commission association doctor so, he is getting the fee from patient and he is giving commission to the other doctor he is giving commission to that drug manufacturing company he is giving commission to diagnostic company or he is taking commission this is dichotomy and the last is making false certificate i have already told you making false certificate is punishable under 197 ipc making false certificate is punishable under 197 dr sir these all are infamous conduct or serious professional misconduct alcoholism adultery addiction abortion advertisement association bribe non medical ko aap cover kar rahe ho dichotomy ka matlab patient ko commission बांट रहे हो या पेशेंट को दे रहे हो या डायग्नोस्टिक कंपनी यू आर स्प्लिटिंग द फी ऑफ पेशेंट एंड मेकिंग फॉल्स डॉक्यूमेंट इज 197 आईपीसी यू आर टेकिंग एंड गिविंग कमीशन डॉक्टर साहब इन दीस केसेस इन दीस केसेस स्टेट मेडिकल काउंसिल इफ इट इज नॉट सीवियर विल गिव यू वार्निंग नोटिस स्टेट मेडिकल काउंसिल इधर will give you warning notice or sir if it is very severe state medical council can erase your name this is known as penal eraser what is penal eraser penal eraser is eraser of the name of a doctor from medical register eraser of the name of a doctor from medical register from medical register state medical council will erase the name will erase the name means medical registration is cancelled and doctor sir this is also known as professional death sentence now doctor won't be able to practice maybe for few days maybe for few weeks few months few years or maybe life long this is known as penal eraser what is penal eraser now doctor sir if you get a question penal eraser is a punishment given by penal eraser is a punishment given by which body anyone which body i want to get the answer which body it is smc state medical council yes penal eraser is a punishment eraser of the name of a doctor from medical register it is given now sir 
this is given by state medical council confirmed by mci and you can appeal at health ministry you can appeal at health ministry this punishment is given by state medical council yes penal eraser is a punishment given by state medical council first thing done first thing done it is punishment by state medical council it is confirmed by mci and appealed at health ministry appealed at health ministry health ministry this is known as penal eraser this is known as penal eraser So, penal eraser is a punishment given by state medical council. Yes, first question is done. Confirmed by MCI. Appeal is done at health ministry. This is penal eraser. Now, sir, there's a word comes professional secrecy. What is professional secrecy? A doctor should maintain the secret of patient. Secret of patient should not be disclosed to anyone. Secret of patient should not be disclosed to anyone. This is known as professional secrecy. Not to be disclosed to anyone. But sir, there are some exceptions. There are some exceptions. What are these exceptions known as privileged communication? What these action or exception are known as privileged communication. What is privileged communication? What is privileged communication? Sir, in some cases, in some cases, doctor can reveal the secret of patient. Doctor can communicate. In some cases, doctor can communicate to someone these are the example of privileged communication now sir question comes what are the cases in which doctor can communicate i am putting some example so my topic here is privileged communication what are the cases where doctor can communicate doctor can communicate now sir i am putting this number c civic sin civic first what are the cases where doctor can communicate to someone these are the example okay yes bharat i will let you know civic see what are the example of privileged communication now see see for criminal case if any criminal case comes to a doctor like murder suicide doctor informs this to police or magistrate and sir this is 39 crpc 39 crpc infectious disease sir any infectious disease to a patient doctor informs this to the relative doctor informs this to the relative venereal disease venereal disease is sexually transmitted disease sir any sexually transmitted disease is to be informed to the partner 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 court of law sir court of law if magistrate or judge ask any question doctor has to inform yes doctor has to inform servant and if servant has a disease which is life endangering for other 
which is life endangering for other has to be informed to the employer example a very simple example you are a you are a train driver you are a train driver and you are color blind my dear friend so this has to be informed to the train department you are a train driver and you are color blind it has to be informed to the railway department this is servant disease if that is dangerous now sir what are two i if there is any interest of patient it has to be informed to the patient or relative or if there is any interest of a doctor it has to be informed to some people interest of patient and interest of doctor now sir last two and for notifiable disease sir there are certain disease in india which has to be notified to the health department which has to be notified to the health department like hiv like cholera like plague so these diseases should be notified to the health department and n for negligence cases n for negligence cases my dear friend any negligence case should be informed to the patient or relative any damage to the patient because of negligence should be informed to the patient or relative i am summarizing all these things again sir what i am discussing these are the example of cases which are known as privileged communication doctor has to communicate to the some authority like first criminal case informed to the police or magistrate infectious disease informed to the relative std informed to the partner interest of patient informed to the patient or relative court of law inform the court servant and employee relationship inform the employer interest of a doctor inform to some person and doctor sir here inform to the health department and here if negligence take place inform to the patient and relatives or relative this is privileged communication doctor sir hindi mein kya bolte hain privilege ka matlab bhala communication ka matlab batane se agar batane se kisi ka bhala hota hai chahe wo hamara desh ho चाहे किसी की जान हो चाहे हमारा समाज हो चाहे पेशेंट का भला हो चाहे गवर्नमेंट का भला हो चाहे कानून का भला हो चाहे जज का भला हो चाहे वाइफ या हस्बैंड का भला हो चाहे रिश्तेदारों का भला हो तो सर वो मैंने वो भले ही बताए आपको किन किन चीजों में किन किन चीजों का बताने से भला होता है दिस इज नॉन एज प्रिविलेज कम्युनिकेशन बताने से भला कम्युनिकेशन का मतलब बताना प्रेवरेस का मतलब भलाई अरे यस पर नो गोल तो चलो तीन चार सवाल के जवाब लिखो पीनल इरेजर इज ए पनिशमेंट गिवन बाय विच बॉडी पीनल इरेजर इज ए पनिशमेंट गिवन बाय विच बॉडी एनी वन एस एम सी पीनल इरेजर इज कंफर्म बाई कंफर्म बाय विच बॉडी एमसीआई अपील्ड एच विच लेवल अपील्ड एट विच लेवल appealed at which level health ministry very good health ministry doctor should inform the criminal case to the police or magistrate with crpc should inform to the police or magistrate with crpc let me see your answer 39 crpc for any medical graduated graduates which are not included in second schedule comes under which schedule schedule 3 second part complete schedule 3 second part schedule 3 second part that will be the better answer okay okay sir now i am coming to sir negligence and sir 
here we are going to discuss medical negligence which is done by medical staff i have already told you 304 aipc is applicable it is also known as malpraxis it is also known as malpraxis so two type of negligence we have civil criminal civil negligence criminal negligence what is civil negligence sir civil negligence is known as tort civil negligence is known as tort tort what is civil negligence absence of skill absence of care there was no skill no care absence of skill and care sir doctor saab here there is mild damage to the patient here patient has mild damage so so doctor has to pay money only doctor has to pay money only burden of proof onus of proof sir patient has to prove this patient has to prove this patient need to prove this patient need to prove this lack of skill lack of care mild damage doctor gives money burden of proof to the patient example overdose leading side effect wrong prescription card overdose leading side effect and wrong prescription card sir leading some damage these are the example of civil negligence civil negligence but sir what is criminal what is criminal gross negligence gross negligence gross negligence willful negligence or lack of competency you are not competent and you are doing sir here may be death or severe damage death or severe damage sir not only compensation but also 304 aipc so it will be dealt in criminal court it will be dealt in civil court sir here it will be civil court it will be dealed in criminal court criminal court criminal court sir burden of proof here burden of proof is to the doctor doctor needs to prove there was no negligence from my side gross negligence willful negligence lack of competency death or severe damage it is money plus 304 aipc doctor needs to prove example example a surgeon forgot instrument in the body surgeon forgot instrument in the body that is leading death leading death or you have right leg gangrene but doctor removed left leg you have right leg gangrene but doctor removed left leg sir these are two example which are for criminal negligence because there are chances of death chances of severe damage severe damage surgeon forgot instrument in the body 
right leg gangrene doctor remove left leg these are the example of criminal negligence now sir see see these two example and these two example these two are example of civil negligence and these two are example of criminal negligence but sir if you see these are sufficient to prove negligence and these are also sufficient to prove negligence these are sufficient to prove negligence and these two are also sufficient to prove negligence anything which is sufficient to prove negligence anything which is sufficient to prove negligence sir this is known as res ipsa loquitur anything which is sufficient to prove negligence is an example of res ipsa loquitur res ipsa loquitur res ipsa loquitur what is res ipsa loquitur thing or fact which speaks for itself thing or fact which speaks for itself is an example of ipsa loquitur now this is sufficient to prove negligence this is sufficient to prove negligence example what is the example surgeon forgot the instrument in the body that is sufficient to prove negligence right leg gangrene doctor removed left leg that is sufficient to prove negligence anything which is sufficient to prove negligence is res ipsa loquitur it means sir res ipsa loquitur proves civil negligence as well as criminal negligence now i am just i am going to take break just will ask you some question tort is example of tort is example of civil negligence or criminal negligence tort is example of civil negligence or criminal negligence t o r t tort civil negligence burden of proof in civil negligence present on civil negligence kisko prove karna hota hai patient burden of proof in criminal negligence is on doctor res ipsa loquitur proves civil negligence criminal negligence both both civil criminal both so kaam ho chhe hum dosto res ipsa loquitur things or fact which speaks for itself now sir there is a word which is known as novus actus interveniens what is the meaning of this novus actus interveniens novus means new novus means new actus is action interveniens means intervening new action intervening novus actus interveniens means new action intervening and doctor this new action is unrelated and unexpected unrelated or unexpected this action intervene this is known as novus actus interveniens novus actus intervenes if unrelated or unexpected action intervene the case please mute your mic intervene the case this is known as novus actus intervenes unrelated or unexpected action intervene in the case so if a doctor is involved in any unrelated or unexpected case action 
doctor will be responsible if doctor is involved in any unrelated or unexpected action that doctor will be responsible like doctor giving some drug leading death doctor giving some electrolyte leading some heart failure so if doctor is responsible or involved in unrelated or unexpected action intervening the case doctor will be responsible this is novus actus intervenius novus actus intervenius okay then now sir what are the defense available for a doctor defense for a doctor in medical negligence cases defense for a doctor in negligence cases means first doctor should take informed consent doctor should take informed consent what is the meaning of informed everything should be informed to the patient this is known as informed consent everything is informed to the patient is known as informed consent if doctor is getting informed consent it is a defense second time limitation sir if patient wants to file a case against a doctor time limitation is 2 year it means if today you have damage you can file a case within 2 year of damage this is known as res indicata this is a indicator of time res indicata res indicata number 3 res judicata third defense for a doctor res judicata but just remember res judicata is defense in civil cases only what are the defense available for a doctor first doctor should get informed consent time limitation for patient to file a case is 2 year and res judicata is a defense in civil cases only civil cases only what is res judicata you just remember the name when you will prepare for pg exam i will let you know res judicata is for civil cases only now fourth defense is contributory negligence sir what is contributory negligence negligence contributed by doctor and patient negligence contributed by doctor and patient sometime doctor is more responsible sometime patient is more responsible it is also a defense in civil case it is also a defense in civil case contributory negligence number 5 therapeutic misadventure therapeutic misadventure what's so what is therapeutic misadventure some unintentional some unintentional act leading complication some unintentional act leading complication this is known as therapeutic misadventure now sir this unintentional act may be therapeutic first may be therapeutic may be diagnostic and may be other but sir here main thing is it is unintentional act leading complication now sir this is a defense in civil as well as criminal negligence this is a defense in civil as well as criminal negligence civil as well as criminal negligence and of course this is also known as medical malacrings 
मेडिकल माल अक्रेंस वॉट इज मेडिकल माल अक्रेंस यू आर टेकिंग प्रॉपर ड्यू केयर यू आर टेकिंग प्रॉपर ड्यू केयर बट स्टिल यू गेट डेमेज you are taking all proper due care but still you get damage this is medical mal occurrence okay like sometime you are going for all proper care but still you got some injury in, during the surgery during the medical procedure this is known as medical mal occurrence again i am revising my dear friend what are the defense available for a doctor first doctor should get mere sath revise karo first doctor should get which consent which consent from the patient which consent which consent from the patient informed har cheez inform kari what is the time limitation for patient to what is the time limitation for patient to file a case two year res indicata res judicata is defense in which case res judicata is defense in which case yes Con civil negligence only contributory negligence is a negligence contributed by doctor as well as doctor as well as patient contributory negligence is a defense in civil cases or criminal cases civil cases or criminal cases yes it is civil cases therapeutic misadventure is used to therapeutic misadventure is used to see criminal negligence civil negligence or both criminal civil or both yes it is both it is any unintentional act leading some damage this is known as therapeutic misadventure this is known as therapeutic misadventure very good now sir another important word comes here next word this is so medical doctor sir agar aapko by chance pooch le koi sawal this question came in aims exam recently a doctor was performing a operation and with due care with due care but the patient got ureter injury the doctor will get defense under which law what will be the answer my dear friend what will be the answer my dear friend doctor will get defense under which law which important word yes this is ड्यू केयर के बाद भी अगर कॉम्प्लिकेशन हो जाता है तो डॉक्टर विल बी डिफेंड मेडिकल माल अक्रेंस वेरी गुड इट इज मेडिकल माल अक्रेंस और थेरापेटिक मिसएडवेंचर मेडिकल माल अक्रेंस इज द बेटर वर्ड फॉर दिस इफ यू आर टेकिंग ड्यू केयर स्टिल यू गेट डेमेज दैट इज मेडिकल माल अक्रेंस ओके ओके नाउ सर देर आर सम टेस्ट फॉर मेडिकल नेग्लिजेंस देर आर सम टेस्ट for medical negligence you just remember the name of these two test one is bolum test another is bolitho test one is bolum test another is bolitho test just remember the name just remember the name so these all are defenses yes these all are defenses available for a doctor during medical negligence cases now sir the next word come vicarious liability vicarious liability vicarious liability is also known as respondent superior it is also known as respondent superior and another word is let master answer another word is let master answer doctor sir what is this doctor sir what is this like you are a employer and sir some employee is working under you employee is working under your power under your scope and if this employee does some negligence act sir first because employee is not working independently this negligence is transferred to the employee means first answer has to be given by employer first answer has to be given by employer means 
if you are working under any fortis hospital first fortis hospital will give the answer that's why i told you let master answer let master answer after this this will be transferred to the employee after this but sir for this you have to work under the power of any employer you have to work under the power of any employer this is known as vicarious liability your first negligence is transferred to the first negligence is transferred to the employer let master answer let master answer this is a very important liability relationship between employer and employee relationship between employer and employee okay now next is another very important word euthanasia you euthanasia euthanasia is causing painless death euthanasia is causing painless death and it is also known as mercy killing it is also known as mercy killing causing painless death now doctor sir two type of euthanasia we have active and passive active and passive what is active you give some drug and causing painless death example of drugs given are phenobarbitone thio pentone sodium phenobarbitone thio pentone sodium opium or potassium these can cause active euthanasia these can cause active euthanasia now passive you remove life sustaining procedure you remove life sustaining procedure like ventilator like icu this is known as passive euthanasia in india only passive euthanasia is legalized in india only passive euthanasia is legalized passive euthanasia is legalized but doctor sir this question comes this question comes in india only passive euthanasia was legalized first country where active plus passive first country where active plus passive both got legalized it was netherland it was netherland in india this passive euthanasia got legalized only in 2015 only in 2015 so first country to legalize passive euthanasia is netherland as well as active euthanasia passive and active but sir in india it is not voluntarily you have to take the permission of supreme court you have to get the permit permission from supreme court then you can go for passive euthanasia passive euthanasia first country where active plus passive both got legalized this was netherland this was netherland anyways sir giving drug causing death is active euthanasia and removing resuscitation is a passive euthanasia active and passive active and passive yes friends now sir i am coming to very important word consent consent is a relation between doctor and patient doctor takes consent patient gives consent it is a relation between doctor and patient sir consent is a part of indian contract act consent is a part of indian contract act it's a contract between doctor and patient 
doctor takes consent patient gives consent it is a part of indian contract act indian contract act now sir what are the types of consent consent is a relation between doctor and patient doctor leta hai patient deta ha sab kar lu kar lu the first consent is expressed consent express consent it is of two type verbal or written if you say verbally something this is expressed or if you writing yes sir i am ready this is also a express consent express consent second is implied consent my dear friend what is implied consent sir it is not verbal not written it is not verbal not written but still you are ready still you are ready for procedure you are ready for procedure example a patient <clears throat> a patient comes to opd and he is ready for blood pressure without saying anything patient comes to the opd doctor takes his bp instrument patient is ready mm, gives his hand yes without saying anything this is implied no need to say anything you are ready for any bp blood pressure you are ready for physical examination this is implied consent i am giving a very simple example a female patient a female patient going to male gynecologist chamber a female patient going to male gynecologist chamber that means female patient is ready female patient is ready to get examined by male doctor this is implied consent एक तो क्या होता है बोलना यस सर आई एम रेडी आई एम राइटिंग यस सर आई एम रेडी दिस इज एक्सप्रेस विदाउट सेइंग एनीथिंग विदाउट राइटिंग एनीथिंग इफ यू आर रेडी फॉर समथिंग व्हिच इज अ इंप्लाइड कंसेंट व्हिच इज अ इंप्लाइड कंसेंट सो नंबर 2 कंसेंट इज इंप्लाइड नंबर 2 कंसेंट इज इंप्लाइड नंबर 3 इनफॉर्म्ड कंसेंट माय डियर फ्रेंड इनफॉर्म्ड कंसेंट डॉक्टर साहब if doctor disclose everything to the patient doctor disclose everything to the patient in patient language this is a informed consent doctor disclose everything to the patient in patient language language of the patient that is a informed consent that is a informed consent so most of the time doctor goes for informed consent this is the best consent my dear friend this is the best consent my dear friend okay number 4 blanket consent blanket consent is also known as open consent or blind consent open consent or blind consent what is this sir see patient at the time of admission of patient in hospital admission of patient in hospital sir only admission patient admission of patient in hospital that covers everything that covers everything doctor sir patient has given hospital admission consent only but sir now treatment diagnosis follow up doctor sir everything is covered in the single consent everything is covered once you give consent for admission in the hospital that covers any everything forwarding that is a blanket consent that is a blanket consent and doctor 
this is not valid legally this is not valid legally you should get consent for everything but it is a consent you are giving consent just for admission in hospital but you are covering everything after that this is a blanket consent number 5 substituted consent substituted consent if someone is not available if someone is like a patient is unconscious and person is incapable i am give you example you are incapable of giving consent then who will give your consent any family member or next to kin your father your mother spouse if you are not capable of giving consent then other person gives consent that is your family member this is known as substituted consent in loco parentis sir sometime parents are not available you are a minor child you are less than 18 year of age and you are going for surgery sir your parents is not available if your parents is not available police warden guardian these can give consent police warden guardian these can give consent that is known as in loco parentis now sir a very important mcq comes a child below 12 year of age a child below 12 year of age cannot give consent cannot give consent for physical examination a person below 18 year of age cannot give consent for any surgery or invasive procedure any surgery or invasive procedure or invasive procedure below 12 you cannot give consent for physical examination yes below 18 you cannot give consent for surgery doctor this is a very important law 87 ipc this is very important law 87 ipc what is 92 ipc the doctor can start the treatment doctor can start the treatment without consent that is protection of a doctor who can start the treatment without consent but sir this should be life threatening life threatening like road traffic accident road traffic accident doctor can start the treatment in life threatening conditions it is applicable for life threatening condition it is applicable for life threatening condition so this is 92 ipc this is 92 ipc 92 92 ipc 92 92 ipc very very important now sir the last two word for this topic medical etiquettes medical etiquettes it's a courtesy between medical professional sir all you are doctors in india should help each other even if you become a very big doctor you should help you should having helping hand for every other medical fraternity that is etiquette aisa nahi hai ki aap bade doctor ban jao to aap choto ko bhul jao this is known as medical etiquette this is known as medical etiquette medical ethics moral principle of a doctor 
मॉरल प्रिंसिपल ऑफ ए डॉक्टर फॉर सोसाइटी फॉर कम्युनिटी फॉर कंट्री फॉर पेशेंट सर दिस इज नॉन एज मेडिकल एथिक्स डॉक्टर साहब दिस लॉ इज सेल्फ इंपोज this law is self imposed this law is self imposed this is known as medical ethics it means sir morally you are strong or not morally you are doing ethical things or not that is known as medical ethics morally you are doing now sir i am i am giving you two option you have to pick one answer okay now sir which is illegal which is unethical okay i am writing two things unethical illegal now my question for you my question for you wrong advertisement is means you are a mbbs doctor and you are writing md or dm degree in front of you wrong advertisement is illegal or unethical anyone illegal or unethical it is illegal repetition of advertisement every day you are repeating your advertisement ki mera saman le lo mera saman le lo it is illegal or unethical yes it is unethical repetitive advertisement is unethical and wrong advertisement is illegal illegal you get punishment but for unethical things you can get warning you can get warning so this is the basic difference between unethical and illegal unethical and illegal this is the basic difference chalo sir isko ab thoda sa detail mein padhte hain main aapko ek ek mcq deta hu write down first question okay penal eraser is a punishment given by penal eraser is a punishment given by state medical council state medical council foreign medical graduate which are not coming in second schedule are part of third schedule second part a doctor should inform everything to the police or magistrate which is medical legal is com coming under which crpc 39 crpc a doctor is obliged to communicate everything to the concerned authority what is this known as doctor is obliged to communicate everything to concerned authority what this word is known as doctor should communicate everything to the concerned authority what this word is known as communicate what is the word par kya bolte hain usko itna bada to likhaya tha upar privileged communication yes the answer is privileged communication yes this is privileged communication okay in civil in criminal negligence onus of proof goes to onus of proof onus is burden of proof okay onus of proof goes to doctor in criminal negligence which is sufficient to prove negligence medical negligence what is the word which is sufficient to prove that's a legal word latin word which is sufficient to prove negligence res ipsa loquitur res ipsa loquitur what is res indicata how many years you get to defend yourself means patient can file a case within 2 year res judicata is defense in res judicata is defense in civil case criminal case both civil so rapidic misadventure is defense in civil case criminal case both both contributory negligence is a defense in civil case criminal case both civil case only
employer is responsible for employee negligence under which law it is known as dash 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 liability vicarious liability in india which euthanasia is legalized passive euthanasia consent come under which law indian penal code crpc indian evidence act indian contract act ipc crpc iea indian contract act yes answer is indian contract act if patient is ready for physical examination without telling anything what this what this consent is implied consent single consent covering many procedure is a part of which consent single consent covering many consent is a part of which consent blanket consent doctor a road traffic accident took place and the patient was patient was taken to the hospital doctor started the treatment without taking consent this is a this is a protection for a doctor under which ipc 92 ipc medical professionals should be cooperative to each other what this is known as medical ethics moral principle of a doctor moral principle of a doctor it is medical ethics unrelated unexpected action of a doctor intervening the case is known as unrelated unexpected yes action of a doctor intervening the case is known as novus actus intervenes yes my dear friend novus actus intervenes very very good now i am coming to very important topic my dear friend that is thanatology thanatology doctor thanatology is study of death thanatology is study of death thanos thanos is a god of death thanos is a god of death death is defined under 46 ipc i already told you and oxab death is a death when brain stem dies death is a death when brain stem dies this is thanatology study of death so whenever brain stem dies we use this word death for brain stem death we use minosta criteria for brain stem death we use minosta criteria minosta criteria sir post mortem changes after death this is known as taphonomy post mortem changes after death this branch is known as taphonomy taphonomy two types of death we have two types of death we have one is somatic death another is cellular death post mortem changes study is known as taphonomy one is somatic death what is the meaning of somatic death so it's very simple a person is clinically died person is clinically died it means sir if you are clinically died that is a somatic death but if your cells die that is a somatic cellular death 
cellular death is also known as molecular death and there is a time interval which is known as supravital interval there we have time interval which is known as supra vital interval we have a time interval which is known as supra vital interval supra vital interval Hmm. <laughs> supra vital interval Now, Doctor Sir, what is clinical dying person? We have a tripod which is known as Bishop tripod. What is Bishop tripod? If your lung, heart, and brain stops, if your lung, heart, and brain stops, this tripod is known as Bishop tripod. This tripod is known as Bishop tripod. Then you are somatically died. Then you are somatically died. Lung, heart, and brain stops. Lung, heart, and brain stops. This is Bishop tripod. Then you are somatically died. Between somatic and cellular death, you have a time interval. This is known as supra vital interval. This is known as supra. vital interval supra vital interval now doctor sir sometime you are in suspended animation you are in suspended animation sir what is the meaning of suspended animation what is the meaning of suspended animation sir actually you are alive but you look die you are alive but you look die this condition is known as suspended animation because of decrease metabolic activity you are alive what are the example a b c d e a for after anesthesia prolonged anesthesia after prolonged anesthesia you sometimes look like a dead person b for newborn babies sometime newborn babies look like this c for cholera and concussion yesterday i told you concussion is temporary unconsciousness concussion is temporary unconsciousness by head injury you look like a dead person b for drowning e for electrocution after electric shock after electric shock electrocution g h h for hypothermia and hyperthermia hypothermia and hypothermia these are two example hypothermia and hypothermia and the sir the last is few s as for shock as for sunstroke as for shock as for sunstroke and as for insanity shock sunstroke and insanity yes shock sunstroke and insanity and the last is very very important sometime t for trance t for trance you are doing yoga and other activity yoga and other activity this is trance So these are the finding you can see in which you look like that person please mute your mic
अगेन आई एम रिवाइजिंग व्हाट आर द पॉइंट्स आफ्टर प्रोलोंग एनेस्थीशिया कई बार एनेस्थीशिया बहुत ज्यादा लग जाता है न्यू बोर्न बच्चा पैदा होता है कोलेरा एंड कंकशन हेड इंजरी इन कोलेरा ड्राउनिंग यस इलेक्ट्रोक्यूशन इलेक्ट्रिक शॉक हाइपोथर्मिया एंड हाइपरथर्मिया में भी ऐसा होता है शॉक सनस्ट्रोक एंड इंसिनिटी एंड द लास्ट इज ट्रांस डूइंग योगा यू होल्ड योर रेस्पिरेशन डॉक्टर साहब देयर इज नो रेस्पिरेशन नो सर्कुलेशन बट स्टिल यू आर अलाइव सो in all these cases in all these cases doctor should resuscitate the patient resuscitation is required in all these cases resuscitation is required sir this is known as yes this is known as suspended animation animation means sign of life suspended means stopped the animation means sign of life suspended means stopped but good news is you are alive this condition is known as suspended animation suspended animation याद कैसे करोगे ए फॉर एनेस्थीशिया बी फॉर बोन सी फॉर कोलेरा डी फॉर ड्राउनिंग ई फॉर इलेक्ट्रोक्यूशन एस फॉर शॉक सनस्ट्रोक एंड इंसिनिटी एंड टी फॉर ट्रेंस दीज आर द कंडीशन यू आर इन सस्पेंडेड एनिमेशन यू आर इन सस्पेंडेड एनिमेशन ओके दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ नेक्स्ट sir what are the postmortem changes and i have already told you anyone the study of postmortem changes is known as anyone the study of postmortem changes is known as yes i want to get the answer taphonomy yes my dear friend taphonomy study of death is known as study of death is known as thanatology thanatology and doctor sir remember that was first defined that was first defined in sydney that was first defined in declaration of sydney sydney declaration of sydney now sir we are coming to post mortem changes first question comes earliest change of the death earliest change of the death is insensibility and loss of voluntary power insensibility and loss of voluntary power this is the earliest change of death this question comes in exam change of the death what is the meaning of earliest change there will be the insensibility there is there will be loss of sensation and loss of voluntary power this is earliest change of the death earliest change of the death now sir after death length of a person is increased length of a person is increased after death because relaxation of intervertebral disc relaxation of ivd intervertebral disc that is length is increased so it means length is increased up to 2 to 3 cm the logic is simple because of relaxation of intervertebral disc length is increased now first is insensibility and loss of voluntary power second is length is increased third we have eye changes what are the changes in eye just remember k k what is first k cavorkian sign and potassium increases in vitreous humor 
first is Keverkian sign. This is the first I chain. What is Keverkian sign? See, this question comes in exam. Keverkian sign. Retinal vessels fragmentation. Retinal vessel fragmentation. Sir, this sign is known as Keverkian sign. Retinal vessels fragmentation. So this is the earliest change of the eye. This is seen within few minutes of the death. Within few minutes of the death. So there will be retinal vessel fragmentation like this. So this is known as rail roading phenomena. This looks like a railroad. This is known as rail roading phenomena within few minutes. So this is the first chain you will see. Keverkian sign, retinal vessels are fragmented. Second is potassium ion increases in vitreous humor. Third change is tachenoia. Third change. Massacue achymotic line is found in which death? Sanu, kal padaya tha na, Janu? Kal padaya tha na? Parthes syndrome. Parthes syndrome is traumatic asphyxia. Kal padaya tha na? It's a line of demarcation between compressed and non-compressed area. This is known as massacue achymotic line. Sir, ये questions पूछ रहा था कौन पूछ रहा था अच्छा ऐसे ही okay okay कोई बात the third finding in I is take a noir actually sir take a noir are black spot in the I in sclera part black spot in I in sclera part and it is seen three to six hours after death it is seen three to six hours after death. I will show you the picture also. This is your pupil. Okay. And in this side, you have a triangular black color. This is black color. I'm, I'm making it red color, but it is black color. On both sides, there may be triangular deposition of cell. Deposition of cell debris. This is known as take a noir. Take a noir. So you can get a question, sir. Take a noir are take a noir are black deposition in sclera part seen after death in three to six hours. Seen in three to six hours. Three to six hours. Last change. Intraocular pressure. Intraocular pressure becomes zero after two hours of death. Intraocular pressure, intraocular tension becomes zero after two hours. Zero tension after two hours. Intraocular pressure. So anyways, I am rev revising this. Kevorkian sign is railroading phenomena. First question. Then potassium increases in vitreous humor. Taken or are seen as a black color changer of the sclera part seen in three to six hours and the last but not the least intraocular pressure becomes zero after two hours. So these are the changes. Now I'm coming to sir after death temperature decreases and look, sir, this phenomena is known as algor mortis after death temperature decreases this phenomena is known as Algor Mortis. Algor Mortis. Now, if you see the graph, this is the graph between temperature and time since death. If you see the graph between temperature and time since death, you will see the graph is just like this. This is sigmoid curve. Sigmoid curve. So this phenomena is known as Elgar mortis. So sub temperature is decreased after death. This phenomena is known as Elgar mortis. Now, where would you detect temperature? Sir, ideal site for detecting temperature is rectum. 
because rectal temperature is equal to core body temperature because rectal temperature is equal to core body temperature rectal temperature is equal to core body temperature now sir what is rate of fall what is rate of fall dr sir rate of fall is different in summer and different in winter rate of fall is different in summer and different in winter in summer it is 0.5 degree fahrenheit per hour in winter it will be high double 1.5 degree fahrenheit per hour why in winter it's high because in winter outside temperature is less the so rate of fall will be more so in winter rate of fall is 1.5 degree fahrenheit per hour rectum is the best site now what is normal you can see what is normal body temperature your core body temperature almost 98.5 degree fahrenheit okay now but what about centigrade what about centigrade sir for centigrade rate of fall is 0.5 to 0.6 degree centigrade per hour for centigrade rate of fall is 0.04 to 0.6 degree centigrade per hour rectum is the ideal site to record the temperature core body temperature is equal to the rectum core body temperature is 98.5 now sir i am putting one question see what is the question you got a dead body okay you got a dead body and rectal temperature of dead body rectal temperature of the dead body is 91 degree fahrenheit in summer now anyone who can tell me what is the time of death see see what is rectal temperature of the dead body 91 degree fahrenheit listen what is normal temperature of the dead body 98.5 so 98.5 minus 91 it means how much fall is seen 7.5 for 7.5 degree fahrenheit per hour fall yes yes bhagwan absolutely right for 7.5 degree fahrenheit fall in summer you will require 10 hours yes it's very simple for 7.5 hour fahrenheit fall in winter you will require 5 hours that is a very simple yes sir that is a very simple trick to remember yes yes bhagwan shay sharma sharma ji aap bahut sahi bol rahe ho bhaiya ki aapka temperature jitna bhi ho usko normal temperature se kam kar do whatever fall is there this fall in summer this fall in winter this is how we calculate time since death time since that time since that and observe for temperature for temperature of the dead body we use thermometer thermometer is used for temperature of the dead body thermometer thermometer is used for temperature of the dead body. and uh, definitely the best site is rectum we can use some other site also but the best site is rectum rectum is the ideal place rectum is the ideal place for for this rectum is the ideal place for recording temperature recording temperature okay this is known as yes this is known as algor mortis now i am coming to next death change next death change is color change of the skin next death change is color change of the skin and observe this is known as post mortem lividity
postmortem staining postmortem lividity lividity postmortem staining hypostasis vibisces sugillation and sir liver mortis all are seen postmortem staining postmortem lividity postmortem staining postmortem lividity hypostasis hypostasis vibisces sugillation and liver mortis all are seen there is color change it is a very early sign of death now sir it is seen in dependent part of the body it is seen in dependent part of the body it is bluish purple color it is bluish purple color it is bluish purple color doctor sir all those part of the body see this is a body in supine position this body in supine position this death body dead body is in supine position now what are the dependent part of the body which are not touching the ground but facing towards ground the part which are not touching the ground and facing towards ground in these part there is gravitational force so what will happen in these part there is veno capillary distension there will be capillo venous distension in these part because of gravitational force there will be capillo capillo venous distension and blood will accumulate and doctor this blood has deoxyhemoglobin after death and this deoxyhemoglobin provides bluish purple color to bluish purple color to dermis layer and sir this dermis layer is known as rete mucosum this dermis layer is known as rete mucosum so there will be after death you have deoxyhemoglobin doctor sir you will see these area which are not touched with the ground there will be bluish purple discoloration this is known as postmortem postmortem staining postmortem staining and doctor sir so in supine position it will be seen in posterior part this is posterior part in prone position postmortem staining will be seen in anterior part in moving body postmortem staining is absent because postmortem staining is only developed when body is stable in hanging body in hanging body it is common in glove and stocking pattern what is glove and stocking pattern see so see if this body is hanging yes this body is hanging now sir these are the part which are not touching the ground and facing towards ground these are leg and hand so this is known as glove and stocking pattern in hand and leg these are not touching the ground and facing towards ground blood accumulates in these area 
This is known as glove and stocking pattern. And maximum it is seen in feet. Maximum postmortem staining seen on feet. But sir, now the question comes. So first thing is clear. It gives idea about position of the body. It gives idea about position of the body at the time of death. Position of the body. Again, I'm telling you, those part, post-mortem staining, post-mortem lividity, liver mortis, BBC, sigillation, are seen in those parts which are not touching the ground and facing towards the ground. In pressed area, jo area ground ko touch karte, uspe nahi hoti. this is post-mortem staining. Now, see, it is visible, it is visible just after death. You can say shortly after death. Well developed, well visible in four hours after death and maximum visible in six to 12 hours after death. Shortly after death, well visible, maximum visible in six to 12 hours after death. Now, sir, after seven to eight hours, it is fixed to the position. After seven to eight hours, it is fixed to the position. Fixed to the position. It means if your body remains in a certain position for six to seven hours, seven to eight hours, it will be fixed to that position. Fixed to that position. This is fixation time. Now, till what time it persists? Sir, this color of the skin, this color of the skin persists till decomposition. This color of the skin persists till decomposition because after decomposition, your body become green color. So till your body become green, this post-mortem staining persists because in decomposition, your body become green. In decomposition, your body become green. Now I will show you the picture because this picture comes in exam. Okay. This one is the first picture, my dear friend. This, this is liver mortis, post-mortem staining. You can see these are the part which are not touching the ground. There will be bluish purple discoloration because of capillovenous distension in dermis retimucosum layer seen shortly after death this is known as liver mortis or postmortem staining hypostasis vibisis sigillation okay now sir this is a death change this one is a that change, I told you, this is seen in eye of the sclera. This is cell debris of sclera part seen in three to six hours. This is known as take a noia. This is known as take a noia. Three to six hours after death, you have changes. These are known as take a noia. Take care. Hello. Yes, Jinder sir. Hey, Mukherjee, viral viral. Corona bhi viral hai, or boy viral hai. Boy viral. Main abar paracetamol dolo six fifty. Oh, dolo six hundred fifty. Taakat ki goli, azithromycin. Antibiotic is there, you can see it. I have a vitamin C, 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 I have a
हर चार पांच घंटा हूँ बुखार नोट करना है और साढ़ी निन्याणु या सो ऊपर जावे नहीं तो हाथों हाथ दवाई देनी है साढ़ी निन्याणु ऊपर ही मान लो निन्याणु निन्याणु पॉइंट पांच ऊपर कहीं ध्यान मैंने बैठी हो तो कौन ही ऑक्सीमीटर की जरूरत कौन ही हाल तो बैठ नॉर्मल है तो कोई दिक्कत कौन ही नॉर्मल वायरल भी हो सकता है क्या तो सब जब भाई या तो नॉर्मल वायरल हुआ है या कोरोना हुआ है दो ही तरह का हुआ है अगर तैयार हो जाए तो नॉर्मल वायरल है नहीं तो बच्चा अपन वो दिक्कत वो अपन ट्रीटमेंट पूरा लंबू लेना पड़ेगा यहाँ पे सेम ही ट्रीटमेंट सब रहा बेई ट्रीटमेंट है ट्रीटमेंट है ना की बनी की बना तैयार हो जाए जय बच्चे आप सोचो हम्म और बढ़िया रही बढ़िया काम काम वायरल ही है मैं तो पांच सात दिन ले लुआ नक्की कर दी कोरोनिल तो खत्म होगी मांगे सात दिन लिखी हाँ अब ले लिया सात आठ दिन ली ज्यादा दवाया गर्मी करो हाँ हाँ और कहीं अब जिक्की चीजें लेने अब बॉडी की इम्यूनिटी पुरानी काम आई नहीं नहीं बढ़िया है ठीक है सर सो दिस इज ग्लव एंड स्टकिंग पैटर्न इज सीन इन दिस विजिबल शॉर्टली आफ्टर डेथ Well developed in four hours, maximum six to twelve hours. Fixed in seven to eight hours. Now, sir, persist till decomposition. When your body become green, till this time, this post mortem staining persists. Now, sir, see. In different poisoning cases, or different cause of death, post mortem staining is different. Color is different. Like see, carbon monoxide poisoning. In carbon monoxide poisoning, it forms carboxy hemoglobin. That's why color is cherry red. That's why the color is cherry red in carbon monoxide poisoning. Carbon monoxide poisoning. In cyanide poisoning, cyanide forms cyanohemoglobin. Bright red color. Bright red or brick red cyanide poisoning. Bright red or brick red. Hydrogen sulfide poisoning H two S. हाइड्रोजन सल्फाइड सल्फाइमोग्लोबिन ब्लूइश ग्रीन कलर ओपीएम पॉइजनिंग ब्लैक कलर ऑफ पोस्टमार्टम स्टेन ब्लैक कलर ओपीएम पॉइजनिंग ब्लैक कलर हाइपोथर्मिया Hypothermia. It is giving pink color, bright pink. So, sir, at least you revise this: carbon monoxide cherry red, cyanide bright red, hydrogen sulfide bluish green, opium black color, hypothermia death. It is bright pink color. Phosphorus. nitrates and chlorates dark brown or chocolate brown color dark brown or chocolate brown color dark brown or chocolate brown color these are colors seen in phosphorus 
poisoning nitrate and chlorate phosphorus nitrate chlorate chlorate and even you can write down aniline aniline also has the same color because of carbon monoxide gives cherry red color carbon monoxide gives cherry red color cyanide gives brick red or bright red color hydrogen sulfide gives bluish green color opium gives black color hypothermia this is a very important mcq if person died due to hypothermia bright pink color aniline phosphorus nitrate and chlorate dark brown color chalo kuch mcq puchta hu fir aage badhte hain chalo decrease in temperature is known as dead body decrease in temperature is known as liver mortis or elgar mortis liver mortis or elgar mortis elgar mortis what is rate of fall of temperature in summer in summer in fahrenheit in fahrenheit rate of fall 0.75 degree fahrenheit per hour what is the ideal site to record temperature ideal site to record temperature rectal rectal vibise sugilation hypostasis are other name of vibise sugilation hypostasis are other name of postmortem staining postmortem staining or liver mortis both are same or postmortem lividity postmortem lividity is maximum developed after how many hours of death 6 to 12 hours persist till what changes of death persist till what changes of the death decomposition hypothermia what is the color of post mortem staining hypothermic death bright pink hydrogen sulfide poisoning hydrogen sulfide bluish green opium poisoning black aniline and phosphorus poisoning dark brown glove and stocking post mortem staining is seen in death due to death due to hanging vishnuesky spot in stomach mucosa is a post mortem finding of vishnuesky spot in stomach mucosa is a post mortem finding of hypothermia hypothermia Simon hemorrhage of intervertebral disc of lumbar vertebra lumbar disc is seen in Simon hemorrhage Simon hemorrhage lumbar inter lumbar vertebra hemorrhage lumbar intervertebral disc hemorrhage hanging yes samu hanging am you said sign of carotid artery tear is characteristic of am you said sign of carotid artery tear is characteristic of judicial hanging doctor saab aap to kamal ho bhaiya kamal ho aap sab heere ho bhai saab aapki qadr to jori kar sakta hai bhai aap sab ke sab kamal ho main to aapke samne kuch nahi main ek naacheez hu मसल स्टिफनी बस बस सर बस क्यों रे हरीश क्या हुआ हरीश क्या हुआ कमाल नहीं हो गया आपके चेले हैं चेले हो लेकिन यार सब आता है तुम्हें बहुत टैलेंटेड बच्चे हो तुम
muscle stiffening. Now, after that, we have some muscle stiffening. After that, we have some muscle stiffening. What are the name of muscle stiffening? First, heat stiffening. Second, cold stiffening. Third, gas stiffening. Fourth, rigor mortis. Fifth, cadaveric spasm. <coughs> Fifth, cadaveric spasm. Now, if body is surrounded by heat, if body is surrounded by heat, we have heat stiffening. But sir, heat stiffening is seen. when temperature surrounding the body is more than 65 degree centigrade and doctor sir here mechanism is coagulation of muscle protein here mechanism is coagulation of muscle protein yes heat stiffening mechanism is coagulation of muscle protein cold stiffening it is when body is surrounded by cold it is because of frozen body fluid gas stiffening sir in decomposition in your body gas forms in decomposition in your body gas forms this causes gas stiffening this causes gas stiffening gas stiffening so another important word we use gas stiffening in decomposition of gas forms in your body this causes gas stiffening rigor mortis mechanism is atp depletion and cadaveric spasm mechanism is atp depletion sir rigor mortis is rigidity of muscle it is also known as cadaveric rigidity cadaveric rigidity cadaveric rigidity rigor mortis is because of atp depletion it is also known as cadaveric rigidity rm cadaveric rigid now doctor sir we'll start rigor mortis this is a very important muscle stiffening rigor mortis rm cadaveric rigidity rigidity of muscle in cadaver doctor sir rm is rigor mortis cadaveric rigidity rigidity of muscles like this is a death point after some time of the death after some time of the death there is stiffening of muscle stiffening of muscle starts this is known as rigor mortis stiffening of muscle as well as shortening of muscle but mainly it is stiffening shortening shortening is less it is also known as somers movement mechanism i already told you atp is depleted due to this you can remember rigor mortis has stiffening of muscle shortening of muscle somers movement all are same mechanism is doctor sir this is a time interval between death and rigor mortis this is known as primary flexibility or primary relaxation time primary flexibility means first muscle is in this stage then muscle is in this stage 
first muscle is in primary flexibility or relaxation phase yes this is the first phase second is this rigor mortis now sir what will happen see now decomposition starts in decomposition your muscle actin and myosin filament in decomposition your muscles actin and myosin filament are broken so again again muscle goes in secondary relaxation phase this is the third stage so dr sahab this is first stage this is second stage and due to decomposition muscle goes in this is first stage yes this is second stage this is third stage muscle goes in relaxation again actin and myosin filament is broken broken this is known as secondary relaxation phase this is known as secondary relaxation phase dr sahab rigor mortis involve voluntary muscles as well as involuntary muscles it involve all body muscles voluntary muscles and involuntary muscles now this question comes which is the first muscle to be involved first muscle involved is myocardium first muscle involved is myocardium but first it is myocardium in half an hour to one hour after death it is seen first external muscle is upper eyelid and in upper eyelid it develops in 2 to 3 hours overall first muscle is myocardium develops in half an hour to one hour yes in myocardium it develops in half an hour to one hour and first external muscle is upper eyelid it develops in 2 to 3 hours after that now see this is upper eyelid after developing upper eyelid it involves facial muscles then neck muscles then facial muscles then neck muscles it first appears in myocardium then in eyelids then neck then it goes downwards to upper limb dr sahab one thing is clear it start from here then it goes downwards upwards to downwards this is known as nishten law so the last muscle in which it will be developed that is muscle of toes the last muscle in which it will be developed that will be muscle of toes so starting from upwards and going downwards this is known as nishten law nishten law for rigor mortis we use rule of 12 for rigor mortis we use rule of 12 what is rule of 12 what is rule of 12 in first 12 hours it develops in all muscles of the body in next 12 hour it remain as it is in all muscles of the body and in next this of the body first 12 hours develops in all muscles of the body next 12 hour it remain as it is in all muscles of the body and next 12 hour so 12 plus 12 plus 12 36 hours it means it appears in the body and disappears in the body takes 36 to 48 hours now we can give the range 
but generally 12 plus 12 plus 12, 36. We can give the range 36 to 48 hours. 36 to 48 hours. First 12 hours, it develops all over the body. Next 12 hours, it remains as it is all over the body. And sir, next 12 hours, it disappears from all over the body. This is rule of 12 for rigor mortis. This is rule of 12 for rigor mortis. Rigor mortis. Now, sir, fetus below seven months of age. Fetus below seven month of age, not seen, very feeble. Fetus below seven month of age, generally not seen. In violent death, violent death means your muscles is already in action, like drowning, firearm injury, in violent death, onset and duration is different. In violent death, it comes early and duration is short. Violent death, where muscle is already in action. Fetus below seven months of is not seen. Violent death or in children or in vesting disease where your muscle mass is very thin, it comes early and duration is short. In strychnine poisoning, this is another important word. It comes early and duration is long. In strychnine poisoning, it comes early and duration is long. And in arsenic poisoning, it comes late and duration is long. Again, I'm revising my dear friend. In violent death, it comes early and duration is short. In strychnine poisoning, it comes early and duration is long. Arsenic poisoning, it comes late and duration is long. Can remember by a trick if you want to remember arsenic you can remember a l l arsenic late long strychnine you can remember s t e a l early late long so you can remember these early onset short duration early onset long duration let onset long duration these are some very very important feature of rigor mortis cadaveric rigidity cadaveric Rigidity. Now, sir. So, rigor mortis is seen in all death. revise karna. What is the mechanism of rigor mortis, anyone? What is the mechanism of rigor mortis? What is the mechanism of rigor mortis? ATP decrease. In rigor mortis, which is more stiffening or shortening of muscle? Which is more? Stiffening is more than shortening. Rigor mortis is also known as dash, dash, dash rigidity. Which rigidity? Rigor mortis. Cadaveric rigidity. Rigor mortis is also known as dash moment. Dash moment. So much moment. Rigor mortis starts from upwards and goes to the downwards. What's the name of law? What is the name of law? Name of law. Nishten law. Which is the first muscle in which rigor mortis is seen? Myocardium. Which is the first external muscles? Upper eyelid.
fetus below seven month of age, rigor mortis is not seen. Arsenic poisoning, early, long, let long, what is seen? Arsenic poisoning, let long, let onset. And observe, one thing is clear, rigor mortis gives idea about time since death. Rigor mortis gives idea about time since death. So this is rigor mortis. But yesterday I discussed one thing in drowning. That is cadaveric spasm. Yesterday I discussed one thing in drowning. That is cadaveric spasm. What is cadaveric spasm? In drowning I discussed clench hand with some grass particle and this suggests anti-mortem drowning. Now, sir, how it is this stiffening is differentiated from rigor mortis? How this stiffening is differentiated from rigor mortis? First, Sir, mechanism is same as rigor mortis, ATP depletion. Second, rigor mortis takes some time to develop. It is just after death. Any muscle which is in action, after death, it remains in same action. This is cadaveric spasm. Just after death. So here... Primary relaxation phase is absent. Here, primary relaxation phase is absent. It is just after death. It is known as instantaneous rigor. It is also known as Cataleptic rigidity, ATP depletion just after death. Just after death, it is primary relaxation phase is absent. It is instantaneous rigor or cataleptic rigidity, also known as. Sir, it is seen in few death. Rigor mortis is seen in old death. It only involves voluntary muscles. It only involves voluntary muscle. Other muscles, rigor mortis involves all muscles. Mostly it involves hand muscles, short group of muscles. And sir, it gives idea of mode of death. Antimortem, postmortem, no time since death. Mode of death. And sir, it is a very hard stiffening. It gives idea about mode of death. It is a very hard stiffening. So generally, it is not broken. Not broken. Not broken. Generally, it is not broken. Again, I'm revising, sir. In few cases, muscle goes in contraction and after death, it remains in contraction. This is known as cadaveric spasm. It is not cadaveric rigidity. It is seen in few muscles only, in few death only, just after death. So primary relaxation... And the door will open. Jabardas. Primary relaxation phase is absent. Instantaneous rigor, cataleptic rigidity, cata mechanism is same as ATP depletion, it is seen just after death. 
primary relaxation phase is absent. It is known as instantaneous rigor, cataleptility. It is seen in only in few death, not in old death. Few death. It generally involves voluntary muscle. Mode of death, it is not broken. Now, sir, what are the death in which it is seen? It is not seen in old death. I start with A. Asphyxial death, it can be seen. Brain injury, A, B. Brain injury, it can be seen. Cerebral injury, it can be seen. Drowning, I told you, it can be seen. Drowning. Exhaustion, it can be seen. Firearm and fear, it can be seen. Rigor mortis is seen in every case. After death, your body will remain for a longer period. There will be rigor mortis. Rigor mortis is a universal phenomenon. Cadaveric spasm is seen in only in few death. Cadaveric spasm is seen in few death, like sometime in asphyxial death, sometime in brain injury, cerebral injury, drowning, exhaustion, firearm or fear. Doctor, I'm giving example. If I'm committing suicide, shoom, after suicide, my hand remain in this position. This is cadaveric spasm. But rigor mortis will be seen in all body parts, all body muscles after death. This is rigor mortis. Rigor mortis takes some time to develop. Cadaveric spasm in few muscles it is seen just after death. And cadaveric spasm is a very tough stiffening. Generally, it is not broken. Generally, it is not broken. It gives idea about mode of death. Rigor mortis gives idea about time since death. Rigor mortis gives idea about time since death. Time since death. Now I am coming to, sir, the last death change. Okay, honey. Okay, Janu. Decomposition. चलो जाने वाले जाओ थोड़ा रिवाइज कर लेते हैं आज का ये तो कर लेते हैं व्हाट आर अदर नेम ऑफ कैडविक स्पाजम एनी वन व्हाट आर अदर नेम ऑफ कैडविक स्पाजम टू नेम इट इज सीन जस्ट आफ्टर डेथ दीज टू नेम्स आर इंस्टेन टीनियस राइगर एंड कैटालेप्टिक रिजिडिटी Instantaneous rigor and cataleptic rigidity. Now, what is the mechanism of cadaveric spasm? Anyone? What is the mechanism of cadaveric spasm? Yes, anyone? Yes, friends. It is. It is. The mechanism of cadaveric spasm. It is ATP depletion. Cadaveric spasm gives idea about time since death or cause of death or mode of death. What is the best answer? What will be the best answer? Mode of death. Jan. Mode of death. Cadaveric spasm involves voluntary muscle, involuntary muscle, old muscle, short group of voluntary muscle. Which will be the best answer? Voluntary muscle, involuntary muscle. All muscle, short group of voluntary muscles. Yes, short group of voluntary muscles will be the best answer. <coughs> Cadaveric spasm in. Uh, Uma, I think so. Hmm. Cadaveric spasm in drowning suggest it's anti-mortem drowning, post-mortem drowning, both none. Okay. Yes, sir. This is suggestive of anti-mortem drowning. Most characteristic finding of anti-mortem drowning. Very good. Most characteristic finding of anti-mortem drowning. No issue. Ma'am, uh, temporary or permanent teeth, it's a big topic. It's not a very small topic. But I, I can give you an idea. Temporary teeth eruptions, these are 2102 is a formula. 2 is incisor, 1 is canine, 0 for no premolar. 
and two is molar. The eruption sequence is IMCM. IMCM is incisor, molar, canine, and molar for temporary teeth. Permanent teeth formula is two one two three. That has been mentioned in notes. The sequence of eruption is mummy is in pain and papa can make medicine. M for mummy ka matlab we have to take pick the first alphabet. Mummy is molar than is for incisor. That is the way we can remember. Mixed dentition is seen between six to seven to eleven to twelve year. Here total number of permanent teeth are always twenty four. Okay. Okay. चलो दोस्तों हम कल मिलते हैं फिर